In breaststroke, we had uh, breathe, kick, glide. In butterfly, we have breathe, pull, glide. And that's what this is doing here. And actually, uh, I do it with the kids not like swimming. Not We're not going to do 25s or 50s like this. We're just going to go to the shallow end and just start in a floating position. See, we're going to stop in between every stroke. Start in a floating position. Make sure you're on the surface, head down, arms out. You know, we want to start from that good streamlined-ish position and then get the kids to make the head motion first right there breathe pull and then wrap around and glide and remember we're not worried about undulating here we're not worried all we care about is the timing because if you notice a lot of kids they get the timing wrong especially and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, say this now if you use fins all the time with little kids trying to teach them butterfly uh, that's a really uh, rookie mistake bad mistake because what the kids end up doing is they start swimming with their legs instead of their arms and their body and so all they do with if they have fins on is basically body dolphining across the pool and they don't think they're never forced to fix uh, the timing of the the breathing and the and the pull so really try to avoid as much as you can try to avoid fins uh, when doing butterfly at least when starting because remember speed is not the purpose right now we want to get a uh, good technique down so and I think this is a really good drill to eliminate everything else eliminate the clock eliminate the racing portion eliminate you know just take the kids to the shallow end, focus on breathing, pulling, and gliding, and having that pause, you know, especially if you can just get them to pause and glide out here when they're young, we can always increase tempo later on, but getting them to hit this body position in between every stroke is really critical.